South Sudan has hired U.S. lobbyists to help it reverse U.S. sanctions and stop the establishment of a court meant to prosecute war crimes, a document showed, a move rights groups said could undermine victims seeking justice. Under the contract, signed on April 2 and published on the U.S. Justice Department website, South Sudan's government agreed to pay California-based Gainful Solutions $3.7 million over two years. The government and Gainful Solutions did not immediately respond to email and phone requests for comment. Gainful agreed, among other issues listed on the contract, to open a channel of communication between South Sudan's President Kerr and President Trump and persuade the Trump administration to reverse current sanctions and further block potential sanctions. In another bullet point in the contract, Gainful agreed to provide consultant services to delay and ultimately block establishment of the hybrid court. South Sudan seceded from Sudan in 2011 and collapsed into ethnically charged civil war two years later, in fighting fueled by rivalry between President Salva Kiir and his deputy Rayak Makar. Under a peace deal with rebels in September last year, South Sudan's government promised to set up a so-called hybrid court, staffed jointly by judges from its own benches and from other African countries. The court is meant to try people accused of war crimes during the conflict that has killed hundreds of thousands of people and plunged parts of the country into famine.